Samsung finally unveiled the successor of the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra and it's the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra 2025 edition and besides the new blue titanium color bit more of a storage I guess bigger battery and yeah, a different sensor configuration that will enable things like the running coach and I do believe two other things which are not so important at the moment. One of the major perks is of course the One Year 8 watch. When the One Year 8 watch beta is out there but I'm not able to get my hands on it or silo it so I need to wait and that's kind of annoying. But the other big thing is that apparently you can now use Gemini AI directly on your watch. This is Google Gemini. This is actually what I also have here on the phone, all right, guys? So Gemini is a very good AI tool from Google and apparently you can use this already on your smartphone. You can chat with this, you can interact with this. Gemini is really cool and apparently you're now able to use it not only on your phone, like the way I have it right now, but you can also use it on your watch. The thing is, Gemini for Wear OS doesn't really work in the current One UI 6 and I don't have access to One UI 8, but luckily, yeah, we can side lull things. Right now I do have Gemini on my Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra, 2024 edition guys and i don't have any plans of updating upgrading to the new watch that costs more money and has a bigger battery and a bigger storage and probably some new fancy things it's still the same goddamn watch guys so let, let's brace it yeah guys in this video i'm gonna do a short demo on the gemini i just want to see if it's gonna work and then i'm gonna show you all the various tools that i used to kind of sideload it and it's very easy guys basically it's an easy process you need to enable developer options here you need to pair your watch wirelessly to your phone using the same wi-fi network and you need to download the gemini apk and i'm gonna show this to you this is easy peasy but First things first, I want to see if this thing is going to work on my Watch Ultra, the classic original one from 2024. Hey, Gemini. Gemini, are you here? How can I help you today? Okay. Yeah, you're here, man. Hey, can you raise the volume of my watch? I can't directly control the volume of your watch as I can only access the settings of the device I'm running. Is there anything up? Can you enter in a conversation mode? I am already in conversation. Okay, but you ask me anything. All right, but now I have to press this goddamn button, right? So let's just do this again. Can you give me a summary of my last emails? First, you'll need to connect to Google Workspace to turn on this app. Okay, so maybe this works. All right. Can you start navigation on my watch and drive to Vienna, Austria? I can't directly start navigation on your watch. However, I can provide you with driving directions to Vienna, okay. Austria. Would you like me to do that? Yes, please do that. Okay, connecting to Google Maps. So, you know, it maybe this thing might be useful. All right, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not bad, guys. And this also gives me kind of a map from my city to Vienna. Okay, that's good. What can Gemini do? for my Galaxy Watch Ultra. Gemini on your Galaxy Watch Ultra provides a voice-first AI assistant for hands-free tasks. You can use it to manage daily tasks, get updates, interact with apps, send messages, set reminders, get navigation. Oh, this is good. All right, let's try Let's try to send a reminder. Let's try to send a message. Send a message to my mother that I'm gonna be late. Message to, and what would you like to say? The message goes to my mother. I couldn't find a contact named Mother. Would you like to send? Yes, the contact name is Mama. This seems to be working. I'm selecting the contact. All right. Message to Mama saying, "Hi, Mama. How are you? Ready to send it?" Yep. Press send. Sending it now. Cool. All right. So apparently you can voice send messages. This is good, by the way. All right. Let's try to see uh, something else. Where is Gemini? Gemini is here. Can you play some Netflix songs from Spotify on my watch? Sure. First, I'll need your permission to turn on the Spotify app. Okay. I'm going to open it on my phone. Yep. Continue. All right. I'm going to connect, by the way. 
provided that you give consent, it should kind of work. So this thing really might be useful. And now the best part is, guys, how the hell do we activate it? So first things first, you're going to need to download the Gemini APK. I'm going to put a link down below in the comments. And then second, guys, you're going to need this app called Bug Jaeger. You can download this directly from Play Store. It's not costing you any money, at least the free version. Now, how do we pair this up? you know, with the watch. We need to enable developer's option. How does it work? So I need to take the watch, go inside the settings, scroll down until you find something called about watch, open the software information and click on the software version several times. All right, now we need to put the code and boom, developer mode turned on. And now guys, once you are inside the developer option, just scroll down, guys, inside the settings, developer options, scroll down until you find wireless debugging. All right, select it. And now, guys, just scroll down and put pair new device. Once you start your application, click that button here, right? It has a plus sign. Now it's very important, guys. Click pair new device and you're going to see an IP address and a port. This thing down below is the port. It's not the pairing code. In the meantime, I had to start the process again. But if you get these three things correct, the IP address of the port and then the pairing code, just by hitting pair, you should be able to very easily connect to your watch and in this case I think I was able so I'm gonna press connect so very important guys the moment you pair it you need to press connect to make sure that you establish a permanent connection now we can see that my phone is connected to my watch don't touch anything here guys unless you know what you're doing and in order for you to sideload the APK we need to go into this menu here from this menu you can download APKs or programs from your watch to your phone but we want the vice versa so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the plus button here and I'm going to select APK file. All right. You can also install the programs directly installed from your phone. If I do like this, I'm going to have this, but I don't want to do so. So I'm going to select select APK file and I'm just going to navigate to the Gemini APK. All right. Just select it, press next. And guys, this is going to install it for you. And at the end of the day, yeah, you should have a rather functioning Google Gemini on your watch ultra or on your other watch phone and yeah it's pretty functional as you can see you can just use this thing on your hand now have in mind that the real version you know will have an option to kind of like just hold this button and start it this is something that doesn't really work right now without one ui 8 because from here guys there is a button called buttons and gesture and there yeah, we have the short press and we have a double press we don't have the long press but hopefully with one ui 8 also this thing is going to be soft so in case you want to use google gemini now with your current watch ultra or your previous samsung galaxy watch be my guest all the links are going to be in the video description or the video comments stay safe